Hello, my friends. It is Tuesday, and we are proceeding in the John's Gospel. We're in uh, John 18. Questions, comments, thoughts, you can post them in two different places. We are on Facebook Live, and we're also on MyHT. That's the website for that is myht.higherthings.org. Excellent. I hope you're having a spectacular day. I know I am. Wait for those folks to catch up. And we'll go from there. Feels like my computer's dragging a little bit. This should be a fun day. All right. Today's going to be a good day. I hope your day's already a good day. All right. Almost done, almost done, almost done. Now we're good. Now we're good. Nadine, our prayers are with your family. Um, uh, I'm gonna miss your. I'm gonna miss your mom. Just thought I'd let you know that we're thinking about you. Um, let's get to it, shall we? All right. I think I streamed to the right place. Um, hmm. All right, let's go. Let's 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 talk it over. Hi, right, Terry Lynn. All right, let's go. All right. This was to fulfill the word that Jesus had spoken to show by what kind of death he was going to die. So this is the cross. He promised it. He talked about it. This is what he said he would do. This is how he said it would go. Um, Um, this is what he said, and this is this, and this is what happened. So they're outside saying, we can't kill him because your laws don't let us kill, kill him. And that means you're going to kill him. And that means he's going to be crucified. Don't miss this. Don't miss this. Hmm. Hmm. Um, all right. So Pilate entered again into the Praetorium and said to him, Su eha basileus, are you the king of the Jews? That's the charge. Oh, it's Jean's birthday? Happy birthday. I wonder if I hit the right button, but we'll see. So, um, uh, yeah, interesting. All right. So Pilate entered his headquarters again. Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered. Uh, do you say? Um, do you say this yourself 
or has someone told you or did others say concerning me? So are, are you speaking because this is what you what you figured out, basically, um, or did others tell you about me? This is an interesting thing from the Son of God. And I think you should take this as, is he trying to draw out a confession from Pilate? Um, surely, um, it, it, it's just an odd sentence. Is this, did you, do, do you say this of your own or did others tell you about me? Is, is a, is an interesting thing. We only know about Jesus from what we've been told about Jesus by others. Pilate answered, uh, mate to ego, am I a Jew? Your own nation. And your chief priests have handed you over to me. What have you done? Um, my kingdom is not of this world. Happy birthday, Gene. My kingdom is not of this world. So, when he says that, though, I mean, this is important. When he says that, why is, is, um, why is, Pilate talking about is he a king and Jesus responding about a kingdom. See, this is very important because we don't have kings nowadays. And since we don't have kings nowadays, we have no ground of, of sort of um, reference for this. They're talking about the same thing. No kingdom without a king. Kings have kingdoms. Dukes have dukedoms. I mean, that's... And so, are you a king? What's your kingdom? If you have a kingdom, then you are a king, whether you call yourself a king or not. And here's this, my kingdom is not of this cosmos. I think I might have hit the wrong button. And that's why the MyHT folks are getting no, um, um, oh, no, yes, they are. Yes, they are. It's back on MyHT. Thank God it's working. All right, that's good news. Woo! I thought I hit the wrong button. It's, um, Sandra Madden has to hit a switch. You know, she's, she like lifts her wand and says, Live Bobby, live Bible soli, studioso. Excuse me, that was not helpful. Messed up the joke. Anyway, um, uh, uh, so are you a, your own chief priests have handed you over? So the answer is, I heard it from them. And Jesus's response is, my kingdom's not of this world. If my kingdom was of this world. then my servants would have been fighting that I might not have been handed over to the Jews. Now, my kingdom is not of this world. Remember, he stopped, he stopped Peter Remember, he stopped Peter from um, from fighting for him. Before everybody was kung fu fighting. Those Jews were fast as lightning. No, no, no. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. So he stopped the fight because, again, his kingdom is not of this world. That's why he stopped the fight. He stops the fight because his kingdom is not of this world. If his kingdom was of this world, his servants would fight so that he wouldn't be handed over to the Jews. But my kingdom is not of this world. You have to understand kingdoms 
and kings to understand what Pilate says ne next. Uk basileu esu. So you are a king. If you're talking about a kingdom, you must be a king. Everybody's having birthdays. Courtney's daughter's having birth. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Marilyn's. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, Marilyn's daughter's having birthdays. Jean's having birthdays. Bunch of happy birthday to y'all. There you go. A bunch of them. I think it's great. This makes me happy. So you are a king then. Jesus answered, you say that I am a king. There's Amy, I am. So you say that I am a king. For this purpose, I was born. So because of this, I was born. Very emphatic. Because ego, ge, gene, my. This is very emphatic. Um, Very emphatic. This is why I was born and came into the cosmos so that I would testify concerning the truth. All who are all out of the truth hear my voice. So this is important for you to understand with the Advent season starting. Little baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger, crying he makes. That baby, that baby was born for this moment. Okay? That baby was born for this moment. I think, um, uh, I think it was Thomas who was in a play in high school. And I, um, I saw him right before, you know? And uh, I said, uh, hey, buddy, are you a little nervous? No, Dad, I was born for this moment. Um, Jesus was born for this moment. He was born to die. That's what's going on here. He was born to die. I'm not going to sing this magic moment. Thanks for putting it in my brain, Mark, but I'm not going to sing this magic moment. So, so I want you to just to sort of take this in for a moment. That little baby wrapped in swaddling clothes is a dead baby walking. That baby's going to die. Nails, spears shall pierce him through. The cross be born for me, for you. Hail, hail the word made. The babe, the son of Mary. I was a little low there. I was a little low and flat. Sorry about that. <clears throat> but, I mean, the, the point here is that baby's going to die. He's going to replace the wood of the manger for the wood of the cross. Not at all. I mean, so, so like you at the same time that you're like singing God rest you, Mary gentlemen should be singing stricken, smitten and afflicted because this baby is going to die. He's going to die. I mean, he's like Spock in the, in the warp core reactor. He's dead already. He's dead already even as a baby. And he says it right here. Look, this is why I was born. This is why I came. Um, this is what, this is what was going on here. Okay. Um, this is what, this is why I came. Oh, pastor rakes in the house. You say that I'm a king could be rendered, do you say that I'm, that is true, it could be a question, um, meaning, is this you bear witness concerning me, it's a, it's a, it's a double meaning, um, so, this could be, so, so, you, so you say I'm a king, for this purpose, I came into the world, for this purpose I was born, to bear witness to the truth. What truth? 
the truth that God doesn't treat sinners as they deserve or harbor anger forever. That God has put all his salvation um, eggs in the Christmas, Good Friday, Easter basket. That, that God refuses to damn sinners unless you absolutely make him. As opposed to the God that the world preaches that's out to get people. No, Jesus is, God is Calvary, Golgotha, buried, dead, committed to saving you. So if you're into that truth, everyone who hears that truth, who believes that truth, hears my voice. That's, that's, that's what's going on here. That's what's going on here. Don't miss this. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Like, if 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 you believe in Jesus, if you if 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 you hear his voice, for you it's about the truth. The truth about how God is towards sinners. And Pilate is the world's... Um, you, if you think that... Um, if you think that postmodernism is some new thing, that you have your truth and I have mine and, and, and all of that, Pilate beat you to it. Because Pilate looks at him and like, what is truth, man? Seriously. I mean, this is your truth. It's, it has nothing to do with my truth. You talking to me? You saying I'm a king? What is truth? What what is what is truth? It does go back to the garden, Mark. Did God really say this? What's truth? What's truth? Who cares? Who who cares who hears your voice? Pilate, I, well, I just want to know what's your crime? Again, he went outside to the Jews because he has to go back out there. Because they can't go in. Because if they go in, they'll be unclean despite the fact that they're trying to kill the Son of God. So you gotta go back in. Even though they're trying to kill him. I find nothing in him. I find no cause for the um, the, the 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 accusation. Nothing you say. Uh, he who has ears to hear, Pastor Rake, um, let him hear. It's still working. Um, you, so you are a king. What kind of king are you? Well, I'm a king that's, that's centered around the truth. Hmm. I find no reason for your accusation. Thirty-nine. But you have a um, 
you have a custom that um, I should release one man, one one person for you in to Pascha, in the Passover. So do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? And they and they cried out again, saying, Not this one, but Barabbas. And Barabbas, says the text note, was a um I want you to let's see if we can get this. He was a bandit, he was a robber, he was a revolutionary, he was an insurrectionist, he was a guerrilla. I mean, look at all the the not who 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 kind of gorilla. I mean, like gorilla fighter. He, not the person that the. He was. He was the Osama bin Laden. He was the he was the head of the Taliban, except he was he was the head of the resistance. And. It's an interesting thing because they're the one that's bringing the charge. And I guess he wants to sort of let Jesus off the hook. But he's not going to find any help doing it. And that is to save you and me. That the guiltless is let free. While the Barabbas Who's, who's guilty as sin. The guiltless suffers while the guilty are forgiven. Do you think that Pilate saw the beaten Jesus and had any compulsion about what he had done you know, I don't think so. I think he thinks of it, Maggie, as a local phenomenon, that this is a local problem. Now, we know from another gospel that his wife's like, don't have anything to do with him. This guy fills my dreams with bad, bad dreams. Um, and we and the and the and the and the early church is filled with stuff concerning Pilate um, post. But none of it, none of it has anything to do with faith. Um I, I, a better question is: Do you th did the Pharisees at any point realize that they had made a mistake? Did Barabbas at any point? Because look at the love that Jesus has for Barabbas; that he lets Barabbas, he takes Barabbas's place. You're Barabbas. I am Barabbas. You're Barabbas. I'm Barabbas. That's what we are. Apoluo can mean to destroy. Hmm. I thought it was like to set free or to release. Luo, Apo, to... Let's, let's check it. To pardon in legal terms. Um, to release from... A, to permit something to leave a particular place. Uh, to satisfy. Interesting. Oh, apolumini. That's, uh, is that the same form, Pastor Rake? Interesting. Very interesting. Um, you'll see the Latin has it uh, rendered as uh, uh, dimitam. Like Nuke Dimittis, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Um, yeah. All right. Not this man, but Barabbas. And Barabbas was a revolution. Just, can you take this in for a second? 
And so Pilate took Jesus and had him mastigated, had him whipped. And the and the soldiers um, twisted together a crown made out of thorns and put it on his head and arrayed him in a purple robe. That's an interesting note, isn't it? Where do you remember crown? Um, thorns from do you remember where thorns come from this word is used in the Septuagint do you remember where where do thorns come from think about it where do thorns come from And why is this significant? Remember the curse of Adam? Thorns and thistles. The ground's going to bite you. He wears the crown of the curse of God. Right? You got it, Terry Lynn. Oh, great, great example. Ram caught in a thicket. I don't know if that's the same word, um, but that's certainly a great one. Um, he's wearing the curse. Think about that. He wears the curse that you and me, that, that goes on you and me. put it on his head and arrayed him in uh, poor furu. They, they, they purpled him. Color of royalty. Um, this is why Advent is purple. Um, that's why I like a purple Advent. And that those of you who have blue in Advent, no, no offense to you, but I like the purple Advent. Advent used to was initially white um, because of its correct connection to Christmas, and then it became a season of repentance. Um, and so for about 1,200 years, I'm sorry, 1,400 years, it was a season of, re eh, 1,200 years, it was a season of repentance. And then um, the Roman Catholics, uh, in order to sort of, elevate Mary uh, made it blue they deny it but try to find a chasuble that doesn't have AM on it and uh, it's very very hard uh, that's Ave Maria so he's crowned with our curse and they put it on his head and they kinged him and they kinged him and that's the place for us to stop. No, we're going to do one more. And they said to him, they, 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 they came up to him and they said, Hail, Kare, hail, King of the Jews. And they, the text says they gave him their, um, their uh, rapismata. Uh, they gave him their, 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 their rhapsody. They're, they gave him their, they, they, they whacked him. Whether they, uh, they beat him up. As he's wearing our curse, he got it worse even than Cain, the first murderer. Nobody could lay a hand on, on Cain, but, but JC, as he hangs there, as he is in trial, is it worse than um, is it worse than uh, than Cain? Ooh, tough stuff, tough stuff. All right, I want you to do me a favor. Um, I want you to remember higher things this Thanksgiving, in your prayers, in your thoughts. Um, I want you to uh, set a little aside from uh, Good Friday, uh, from uh, Black Friday, and 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 give us a gift on Giving Tuesday. Um, 
Higher Things makes this Bible study possible. They make this Bible study possible, and we are super appreciative of the opportunity here at Emmanuel to do this Bible study for our parishioners and for them to make it possible for our parishioners to see and be fed daily in the Lord's words and promises. So go to higherthings.org and hit that donate button and give today. Tax deductible, and now's the time of the year to think about that. Tomorrow, uh, we'll be together at 1130. Um, for more, we're going to continue John. Have a blessed day, and I will see you tomorrow.